Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, July 12th, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, July is here, and that means bikini season is now officially in full effect. And it looks like species nutrition athlete Sandra Blockman is almost ready to make her presence felt. Over the last few weeks, the progress photos have been filtering out from the budding bikini star, and they've been nothing less than spectacular, as she prepares to introduce the rest of the division to the new improved Sandra 2.0. Over the last year and change, Blockman has really managed to make some tremendous improvements. So if she happens to pop up at the Tampa Pro and give a few seasoned veterans a run for their money, don't forget to tell everyone you heard it here first. Don't want to ask me why, but I've always thought that there was just something primal about a brutally heavy back workout. And these days, it doesn't get much more primal in bodybuilding than back day with Dallas McCarver. Last week, a completely insane looking McCarver was releasing a video from one of his world famous torture sessions, where we see him hammering out rep after rep with weights that would flat out cripple a normal human being. Even with his brief setback down in Australia aside, it's hard for me to make an argument that there's anyone in bodybuilding with a higher ceiling than this kid right now. And once he starts to enter his prime and really figure out what's best for his body, it's going to be a scary situation out there for a whole lot of people. Believe it or not, we're already only eight weeks out from this year's North American Championships. And if you happen to be in the market for an early heavyweight favorite to bet your rent money on, Marcus Perry might not be a bad place to start. This week we were able to get our hands on some exclusive photos and video of the former Kentucky Muscle Champ in action as he gears up to make a serious run towards putting his amateur status in the rearview mirror. As far as raw talent goes, Perry has more than enough to go out there and hold his own against anyone he's going to run up against in the heavyweight division. So if he can step up to the plate and hit a home run in the conditioning department, it might just be enough to carry him all the way to the promised land. As of right now, we're officially less than two weeks out from kicking things off at this year's Masters Nationals, where it looks like perennial heavyweight contender Steve Pulfus will be coming back to settle a little bit of unfinished business. After taking home the top spot in the over 50 heavyweight division at last year's contest, this time around, Pulfus is looking to bring in a sharper, drier look and finally bring home a pro card that's been nearly three decades in the making. If there's one thing we've seen over the last year at Masters Nationals, it's always that conditioning seems to rule the day. So if Pulfus can come in and be conditioned beyond any reasonable doubt, I think he's more than capable of being the last man standing once again when the final curtain closes. Sometimes in sports you see a guy pop up onto the scene and they just have a certain it factor that manages to draw you in. And second year 212 man Ricardo Correa is kind of starting to feel like one of those guys. After putting together a pair of awesome back-to-back -back performances at the Chicago and Vancouver Pro Shows, Correa already looks like he's jumped right into Olympia prep mode. The Ricardo Correa we've seen so far this year has been able to bring one of those really dynamic 3D looks to the stage that's almost become a prerequisite if you want to be competitive in the 212 division these days. But now that he's officially punched his ticket to the big dance, we'll get a chance to see if he's ready to stand in there and trade punches with some of the 212's living legends.